Hi kids, welcome to another Christian education session. We're so glad to have you here again. Before we begin, let's say a word of prayer. All heads bow and all eyes close. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another session of Christian education. We pray that you would help us to have a wonderful time, O oh God. We pray that you would touch each and every family that is watching our videos, and we pray that you would help everyone. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget, you can share this video with all of your friends, so we can all join in on the fun. And now, it's straight into worship time. Wow, that was such a cool song. And now, it's lesson time. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about Jesus' sacrifice. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus. Ah, come in, come in. And give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate, and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seemed okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said, 
that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on. His clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own. And then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. So we see that Jesus loves us so much. Now we have a special friend who's going to help us understand the lesson a little bit better. Jesus can really help me put things in perspective. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And at my church, we always have an Easter egg hunt. At Easter, yeah, so in between the services, we have all the kids go out and we hunt all the eggs that the adults were hiding. And uh, people bring eggs and then they go out and hide them and then us kids go and find them. And it's a really fun time. You know, it's just a fun tradition. And I don't know who, but somebody brings these eggs that are there five silver eggs and one golden egg. And the five silver eggs have one dollar in them, a dollar bill, real money. But the one golden egg has five dollars in it. And this year, really quickly, right after the Easter egg hunt started, I found the golden egg. I found the egg with $5 in it, and I was so excited. I put it in my basket, and I put it right in this little spot where, where I could see it in my basket. You know, I could see it easy, but it would not fall out of my basket because I didn't want to drop it. And at the end of the Easter egg hunt, I, I go and I look into my basket, and it's not there. And right about that time, I hear this kid a ways away, somebody I didn't know, you know, someone who, like he was somebody's grandkid or somebody. You know, he was like visiting for Easter. And this kid, I hear him say, look, I found a golden egg with $5 in it. And I was so mad. Oh my goodness, you don't even know, because I know he took it, because there was a time where I put my basket aside for a second, I left it out in the open, and I climbed up in a tree so that I could get an egg that I saw up there. And so that's when he must have taken it. I know it didn't fall out, because I put it in my basket really safe so it wouldn't fall out. That kid definitely stole my egg. And oh my goodness, I was so mad. I wanted to, I don't, I don't know what I wanted to do, but I wanted to do something bad. I wanted to, I wanted to go and bring justice on his head or, you know, I don't know. Just, I was so, so mad. But, you know, we were out in the, you know, like the yard by our church and there's like a little garden out there. And in that garden, you know, there's a little garden out there and in that garden, there's a cross. And when I looked at that cross, all of that anger and frustration just disappeared. Because I remembered what we celebrate on Easter, you know, Jesus died for our sins and he rose again from the dead. But in order to rise again from the dead, he, he again, he had to die for our sins. And people were really, really mean to him. They, they tortured him. They killed him. And in the middle of all that, you know, Jesus is hanging there on the cross and he's dying, literally dying. And he looked down at the people who were killing him and he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And man, when I thought of that, my little golden egg seemed so silly. Because in all reality, it is just an Easter egg hunt. And yeah, that kid totally stole my egg, but I've also sinned. 
God sent his son Jesus to die for my sins, for your sins, for all of our sins, for that kid who stole my egg, for his sins. And that's what's really most important. So here's my challenge to you guys today. My challenge to you guys is that next time you get really mad because somebody did something mean to you, I want you to think about the cross. I want you to think about Jesus. I want you to think about what Jesus did for you and for the person who was mean to you. He died for us. And if we accept that free gift, we get to live with God forever in heaven because of what Jesus did. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. Thanks, Douglas. And if you want to check out more of his videos, his link is in the video description. And now, it's memory verse time. Today's memory verse is a very popular one. It's John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm sure you know that one already, but we're going to say it a few more times. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Welcome back everyone. It's memory this time again. And as you all would remember, we just learned about God's compassion and love. And the more I think about the love of God, it just makes me want to sing. So you know what? Today, we are going to sing our memory verse. I know that sounds exciting. I am excited, so let's get started. First of all, it's an easy memory verse. I know a lot of you already know it. It's taken from John chapter 3, verse 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. Great, I know you all know it already, so we'll just say it one more time, and then we will start with the singing, okay? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. So I know some of you already know the song, so those that know it, you all can probably teach your brothers, your sisters, and whoever else is around, okay? So you all can help me out. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. Right? So we're going to sing it a few more times, and I know you all will be singing it all day. It is so catchy. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. So we're going to sing it one more time together, and that will be it for the day, okay? John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting life. Well, I definitely enjoyed our singing memory verse today, and I hope you all did too. So remember to keep practicing, because the more we practice, the better we get. And don't forget to continue sending us your videos of your singing today's memory verse, okay? So bye for now. And now, we have a special guest who's going to help us say that memory verse today. John 3, 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you so much, Joshi. Well, that brings us to the end of another Christian education session. We're so glad to have had you here with us. Don't forget you can still share this video, and if you want a chance to win in next week's random draw, you can add your name in the comments below. Before we go, let's just say a word of prayer. 
all heads bow and all eyes closed. Heavenly Father, I thank you again for this wonderful session. I pray that you would look over every family again, continue to provide all that we would need and help us, O oh God, throughout this week. I pray, O oh God, that we would share this video, O oh God, and we would reach many people, O oh God. I pray that you would continue to bless us. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, kids, bye for now. One more thing before we go. We're going to be having a grand Sunday school rally from the 6th to the 8th of April. This rally is going to be done via Zoom. So if you're interested, send us a message to 317-4502. The number will be in the video description and we will send you the information that you would need. We can't wait to see you there. Bye. Join again. Oh yes, we do indeed. We do. We hope you join again.